Hi guys, this is Dr. E Skateboard. Today I'm going to show you how to disassemble your electric skateboard. Uh, every skateboard is going to be slightly different, obviously, but uh, basically if you want to travel uh, through travel through the airplane, you want to uh, take the battery out because they won't take it with you uh, with the battery on it. Now the first thing, make sure your skateboard has battery less than 100 watt hour. This is a, a Acton Blink S, um, other boards that have less than 100 watt hour are uh, something like the Boosted Mini S. Now you can also tell you can't take stuff like Mini X because the battery is too big. If you take the battery apart, it's gonna be too big. Now for this particular board, I'm just gonna go ahead and um, take this main board apart, which consists of one, two, three, four, five, six. This is a very good travel board, by the way. Uh, it fits completely in my luggage, all right? Um, so I just took this board from home to Vegas at CS here. Now I'm going back, so I'm gonna have to take it apart. It only takes like once you get used to it, you can, it only take you like ten minutes to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and um, set the camera over right here. I apologize for the angle, but I'm in a little bit of hurry. I gotta <laughs> leave the uh, hotel here in a bit. So I'm just gonna take all the screws out and on, make sure you have a nice little ziplock back put all your screws in there all right if you miss one or two screw you should be able to still be fine they actually put a little bit too much this is a great board by the way uh, i do have an unboxing i'll have a f i'm not sure if i'm gonna have a full review um, but i do highly recommend it it's you know you can go down uh flat grounds very good up to about three degrees of just slight incline it should uh go down or up just fine the only problem with this board is that um, it doesn't have as much power so it's like a boosted board any uh, also it's not belt driven it's hub driven but it's very very quiet it's good for large crowds if you're just going through large crowds because it's very quiet it's not gonna get in no one's way um, let me go in and do this uh, I think it's only 350 watts now that's all you really need a lot of people get the idea that oh my god I could get the boosted board but I believe boosted board is really for advanced uh, borders. Um, I do actually recommend starting with a lower power board if this is the very first time riding an electric skateboard. You won't have trouble with boosted uh, boards either, but they are, again, there's a lot of power and once you get used to it, you tend to just um, hit that acceleration. You might kill yourself, uh, really. So take all the screws out here and I've got one, two, three, four, five. Make sure you bring the tools obviously that you use now, most skateboards actually come with a tool um, this one actually came with the tool but um the hex tool did not fit for some reason so i'm just using my own here almost done here um act on board this is the smallest board you can buy uh out of the four electric boards i've got uh, bought so far but again this one you can fit inside your luggage uh, the Mini S, you can't fit inside a min, um, standard luggage. Now, if you travel a lot and you absolutely want to have an electric skateboard you at all times, there is a foldable electric skateboard that folds in half. All right, that you may be interested. That one, you can just easily detach the battery. The battery is much easy and detachable. Uh, a lot of the future electric skateboards, if you're watching this future, should have detachable uh, battery because it's not hard to do. Uh, just manufacturers didn't think of it but a lot of newer boards are actually coming with detachable board uh, foldable boards would be great if you're traveling now those are not the best boards uh, in my opinion because once you fold it you sort of lose the integrity of board but again if you're traveling a lot um, you don't have to disassemble it or any of this stuff right here so once the screws are out for this acton again Instru there should be instructions for uh, your board because a lot of people will buy it. I'm going to go ahead and flip it over and um, you will see uh, there's two switches. I'm going to go ahead and let, let, me, let me go ahead and hold the camera with my, uh, <laughs> my mouth. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. There's just two of these going to the main board, and there is one there and one here. 
Uh huh. Uh uh uh. Uh uh uh. Uh. All right, once those are out, the battery's out, you just need to separate the battery. And what I'm gonna do um, with this guy uh, is basically I pull this out and the main board comes apart. That's pretty much it. And uh, you know, this this will fit in the luggage, but it'll it will go out a little bit. It'll just sort of stick out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take two of the wheels out because this way it'll fit a lot better. And I'm gonna go ahead and take this wheel out real quick, real quick. All right, and I'm just gonna keep the wheels apart. This board fits fine, just like I said, it sort of bulges out. I'd rather have it not bulging out, so I take the wheels out too. Or, um, now, if you have a larger board like the Mini S, um, you can actually ship it separately, check it in separately. Uh, they won't charge you extra as over overweight for skateboards. So that's my recommendation. And look at that. So I've got it fully apart. The only thing I have to put on my carry-on is the battery. I'm going to go ahead and put this in here like this. And you see it's, it just fits just perfect. So I really recommend this board for those of you who travel often. Um, who want just a small board. It's great. Control board. And boom, we're ready to go. When I get home, we're at my destination. I'm going to put it together and go on your merry way. Anyway, um, that's how you take your electric uh, skateboard apart. Again, every electric skateboard is different. This is for uh, Acton Blink S, but it should be very similar. But the concept is that I mean, you take the battery out and carry with you. All right, everything else can stay in the luggage. You don't have to tell them that you have an electric skateboard because um, the battery's out. Have a great day. Uh, and we'll see them the next one.